So good morning, John. Good morning, Martine. <laughs> Welcome to morning prayer. Uh, let's get going. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous. And all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So, Psalm 2. Do you want to, uh, do you want to just, oh, let's read it together. I'll read the odd verses, you do the even ones, yeah? Perfect. Why are the nations in tumult? Good question. Why do peoples, the peoples devise a vain plot? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He who dwells in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall have them in derision. derision. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury. Yet have I set my king upon the, my holy hill of Zion. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. This day have I begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, O kings. Be prudent, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and with trembling. Kiss his feet lest he be angry and you perish from the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all they who take refuge in him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, the Son and to the Holy, and Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the was beginning, in the beginning is is now, now and shall, shall be, forever. be forever. Amen. So, John, what do you well, make of that little psalm? It's about well, justice, it's, isn't it? It's about yeah. people who are oppressed receiving justice, yeah? I, I totally agree, and it, it, it also seems to me a bit of a warning that ye kings and rulers of earth do not think you are above the Lord. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, there's a, so be wise and be prudent, <clears throat> and always recognise that there's a higher authority. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we're not kings, but, you know, the same goes for when we find ourselves in any position of power, I think, over others, yeah? Exactly, yeah. That's mm -hmm. very... Very good. Mm. All right, let's scroll down. And um, why don't you read the first passage, Isaiah, yeah? Uh, Isaiah 65, 116. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I was ready to be sought out by those who did not ask, to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation that did not call on my name. I held out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own devices, a people who provoke me, to my face continually sacrificing in gardens and offering incense on bricks, who sit inside tombs and spent the night in secret places, who eat swine's flesh with broth of abominable things in their vessels, who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. These are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day long. See, it is written before me. I will not keep silent, but I will repay. I will indeed repay into their laps their iniquities and their ancestors' iniquities together. Says the Lord, because they offered incense on the mountains and reviled me on the hills, I will measure into their laps full payment for their actions. Thus says the Lord, as the wine is found in the cluster and they say, do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it. So I will do for my servants' sake and not destroy them all. 
I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah, inheritance, uh, inheritors of my mountains. My chosen shall inherit it, and my servant shall settle there. Sharon shall become a pasture for flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for herds to lie down. For my people who have sought me, but you who forsake the Lord, who forget my holy mountain, who set a table for fortune, and fill cups of mixed wine for destiny, I will destine you to the sword. And all of you shall bow down to the slaughter, because when I called you, you did not answer, when I spoke, you did not listen. But you did what was evil in my sight, and chose what I did not delight in. Therefore thus says the Lord God, My servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. My servant shall rejoice, but you shall be put to shame. My servant shall sing for gladness of heart, but you shall cry out for pain of heart, and shall wail for anguish of spirit. You shall leave your name to my chosen to use as a curse, and the Lord God will put you to death, but to his servants he will give a different name. Then whoever invokes a blessing in the land shall bless by the God of faithfulness, and whoever takes an oath in the land shall swear by the God of faithfulness, because the former troubles are forgotten and are hidden from my sight. Thank you, John. So a difficult and complex passage, but saying similar message, I think, to what the psalm was saying, really. Hmm. I um, agree. I mean, I think there's a, there's a, it's, you put it brilliantly, it's about justice hmm. and about judgment. Um, hmm. So, and it's also, to me, as I was reading that, I was thinking it's about keep the faith. Yeah. It's, it's about stay on that course, stay on that course. Stay on course, yeah, I know. Mm. And it's so easy to stray off, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And uh, to be selfish um, and to be lazy, I suppose, really, in a way about... Um, and what, sorry? And to be a bit lazy, I suppose. You know, it's easy, yeah. isn't it, to... And, we, and that's why, you know, we... Just as it is, you know, trying to keep your physical well-being, you, you, to keep your spiritual well-being, you, you need to have a certain amount of discipline, you know? Absolutely right. No, you are absolutely right there. You really are. But that's a good thing about being part of a community of faith, because you do it as a group, you know, rather than on your own, which is much harder, you know? Oh, God, absolutely. And particularly when you see others, like obviously this call that we're on every morning, Mm. Um, and when you see others, you join in, I don't know, the power of the, the kind of feel of it all. I know, I think um, we've got a great little group. I know it's just the two of us today, but normally it's, I mean, people like Leslie and Elizabeth and Basola, they're mm. just so, it's just so helpful to pray with them and, you know, have their That's, benefit from their wisdom as well, yeah? I couldn't, couldn't agree more. Yeah. You're absolutely right. All right, I'll read the, um, if you scroll down, John, I'll yeah. read, I really enjoy this book, One John, and we'll read a bit more from that. Okay. okay, so everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. The love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, but whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the, and the Spirit is the one who, that testifies. For the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God, that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, 
and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son of God does not have life. So John like, likes to put it really clearly, doesn't he? And he's yeah, just saying yeah. how essential it is to have trust in Jesus and believe that God has shown himself to us through Jesus. So in a way, God's made it easier for us so that we can actually look to the person of Jesus and almost like see a kind of model life, a model humanity um, in him. I, I, yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I think that at the beginning there where it says, um, for the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. So it, it, it's pretty simple, really. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's not, there's nothing difficult about it at all. Um, and just again, this to me is about keep the faith, keep on that track, keep going the yeah. way that you've been guided. Um, yeah, because the commandment is to love as he has loved us, isn't it, really? Yeah. It um, reminds me of, in Matthew's Gospel, you get that verse, um, come to me all who are weary and, and heavy laden, for I will give you rest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For my yoke is easy, yeah? yeah. And, the, the, my, and my burden is light, yeah? Mm. Um, you, you can do it, yeah, if, if you follow me, yeah? No, yeah. really right. It's again, it's really not difficult, and particularly when it talks about um, and when it talks about truth. Um, I've lost where it is now, which I saw it just now. Um, and these three agree if we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. Again, rather like the passage we we're reading, don't forget that there's a greater, a greater oh, power. Oh. Um, and it just seems very straightforward to me and you're right you you made the point at the beginning that really what john's doing is explaining it very clearly mm. 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 really helpful little book one john yeah mm. all right let's scroll down then to worship the lord in the beauty of holiness let the whole earth tremble before him tell it out among the nations that the lord is king i worship the lord in the beauty of holiness Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Amen. Let's pray then. Uh, Lord, uh, we do thank you for the scripture this morning and we thank you for calling us to follow you. We thank you that your commandments are not burdensome, burdensome and that um, your yoke is easy, easy, that we can follow you and grow in your likeness and learn to love one another as, as you have loved us. We lift to you, Lord, all those who ask for prayer by name, for Philip Evans, Jenny Figaro, Christopher and Vivian Golis, Evelyn Hannah, Pete Jadhav, Anna Lee, Eloise Lybrand, Ulrika Llewellyn, Joe Martinez, Lisa Ray Muller, Betty Seaman, uh, Martha and Ezra Prescott, and all the children at Hope Primary School. Also for Dia Sharma <coughs> and John Walton. Please bring hope and healing and comfort to all who suffer. And we lift you all those suffering from the coronavirus at the moment, for all those who are bereaved, and for all the medical staff working so hard to care for people. Please uh, walk beside us and encourage us through this difficult time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we who know you now by faith may at last behold your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's use the contemporary version. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, Our Father in heaven, in heaven hallowed, be, hallowed your be your name. Your kingdom, your kingdom come, come. Your will be done. Your will be done on earth, on earth as, in, as heaven. in heaven. Give us, Give us today, today our, our daily bread. Forgive us, bread. Forgive us our, our sins, sin. as we forgive, as we forgive those, those who sin against us. us. Lead us not Lead into, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver but us from, us from evil. evil. The kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are, yours, are yours, now, now and, forever. and forever. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Amen. Amen. Well, have a lovely day, uh, John. Thank you. I enjoyed doing that with you. Thank you very much.